Well, the teachers' back-to-work bill was still being debated as there was a bombshell dropping at the legislature today. A cabinet resignation, the only sitting politician who supported Premier Christy Clark in her leadership bid, quit. Multiculturalism Minister Harry Bloy resigned after admitting to leaking an email from a reporter. CTV's Andrew Johnson joins us live with more on the story. Andrew. Hudson, Harry Bloy may have taken responsibility for the leak, but it was the Premier and Advanced Education Minister Naomi Yamamoto left to face the media and the opposition who thinks Yamamoto should quit too. Here's why. The email at the center of all this was sent to the Ministry of Advanced Education by a Vancouver newspaper reporter who was asking questions about an education conglomerate called Emanata. Then Advanced Education Minister Naomi Yamamoto admits, for reasons we don't know, her assistant passed the email to Bloy. Bloy then forwarded the email onto Emanata. The NDP claims he was giving Emanata the heads up. A reporter was asking questions. Emanata's founder, Peter Chung, has donated money to the Liberals. The Premier says Bloy did the right thing resigning because forwarding the email was inappropriate. What he did was not illegal, but it did show a very clear lack of judgment. It was the wrong thing to do, and he has resigned. The NDP admits Bloy did the honourable thing by resigning, but says Advanced Education Minister Yamamoto has not. The opposition is demanding Yamamoto's resignation because her ministry passed the reporter's email to Bloy. The Premier says there is nothing wrong with MLAs sharing information. In this case, the New Democrats disagree. The purpose could only have been, Honourable Speaker, to provide some protection for a political ally. How can students and the public have confidence in the minister or her colleague when they show such blatant preferential treatment to a company they regulate? I feel like I've been let down by a colleague, uh, but um, you know, we, I didn't do anything wrong. My staff didn't do anything wrong, but um, unfortunately, uh, Harry Bloy made a mistake. Thanks, he's, everybody. He's owned up to it. Yamamoto says she had no idea the email was forwarded by her staff to Harry Bloy and she instead found out reading the newspaper. Hudson, despite being on the defensive, Premier Clark has taken a shot at the opposition leader. She made sure to point out what Harry Bloy has done is inappropriate but not illegal and was nothing like forging a memo. She's referring to Adrian Dix admitting in court he backdated a memo to help former Premier Glenn Clark. Dix later apologized for what he calls an error in judgment. All right, Andrew, thank you. You're welcome. Andrew Johnson reporting.